We're back at the Rad Lab and today I'm playing with magnets. But not just any old boring magnets, I'm going to be playing with electromagnets. In fact, I've seen people online making an electromagnetic train using nothing but a battery, some magnets and a piece of copper coil. So of course I have to try it out for myself and learn all about how it works. So I've got my battery, I've got my magnets, and I've got my ever important copper coil. Now unfortunately you can't really buy copper like this. It comes in a spool and you're gonna have to self wire I've got my neodymium magnets which are really, really strong and the same poles repel. And this is an important principle for what we're doing here. I put them on either end of a little AAA battery. You need to have the same pole on either side of your little electric train. Put it in and... Woo! <laughs> Obviously, this works a bit better if you haven't bent your copper coil like I have. Actually, to be fair, I didn't bend it. Somebody doesn't know his own size and stepped on it a couple times. But let's see if I can straighten it out a little and get a clean run. I like how half the time I end up with semi-failed experiments. It just feels very me, very enthusiastic, but then everything just doesn't work. So something that I've noticed is that it seems to move faster in the tight parts of the coil. So I've made this spread out gap in my coil and I wanna see how it affects it. Yeah, it's just stopped dead there. So I'm gonna push all my coils together and see if that helps it. That worked really well. Yeah, you gotta have the tight coils. So, how does it all work? Well, the first thing you need to know is that anytime you put an electric current through a wire, you're creating a magnetic field. And that principle is applied here too. So we have a piece of copper wire, and when we're passing a current through it, we're creating a magnetic field. When we then take that copper wire and coil it together, we are taking those magnetic fields and amplifying them. So that's creating a much, much stronger magnetic field. And that's also why coiling it together tighter is better. So if I take a copper coil, a battery, and a compass, I can show you how this works. So our compass is showing us where the north is. I join it together so I'm passing a current through the coil. You'll see that I can move the compass, which is just showing you that there's a strong enough magnetic field to be able to influence that compass. So why does the battery move through the coil? This comes back to what we said earlier about needing the same pole sticking out at the end of our train. And what it's doing is it's creating repulsion on one end, so it's pushing away and creating attraction on the other end, which just keeps it moving forward. So by putting magnets on a battery that also conducts the electricity to the coil, you're wrapping it up into one little neat package, which is really cool. So we know that some creatures can sense the Earth's magnetic field, such as birds using it for navigation, but some scientists also think that the common domestic dog can sense these magnetic fields. And part of the reason why is because they've noticed that a lot of dogs line up north-south when they take a poop. So I want to test out this theory, not with poop, and see if my buddy Boatmeal can find a magnet for me. Boatmeal, touch magnet. Good boy. Lay down on magnet. Good boy. So I'm first just getting him interested in the magnet. Back up. So he knows that that's his goal. Boatmeal, touch magnet. Good boy. Now for the big test. Magnet under bowl, he doesn't know which. Can he do it? So Boatmeal, back up. Back up. Bunny. He's over there, go. Boatmeal. Boy! Back up. Boat meal. Touch magnet. Oh, uh-oh. It's about 50-50 so far. Touch magnet. Good boy! Can he actually do this? Am I insane? High five. Yeah. 
You think it's that one? You're wrong, buddy. You think this one or this one? Which one do you want? Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry, it's not there. You don't get a treat. It's still pretty inconclusive and I think it needs a bit more work. But if you've got an experiment that you'd like me to try, especially one that involves boat meal, then please send it in. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit the button below and subscribe to us on ABC Science.